Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Trace again here at TM Diecast Reviews. Um, sorry, I haven't been around in a little while, but uh, been sick, been doing a lot of uh, overtime at work, and the weather here just uh, will not cooperate as of today, as usual. It's cloudy and getting nice here on the east coast uh, of the U.S. We're getting into uh, warmer weather. I'm getting closer to April, so the weather's starting to change. <clears throat> but uh, we've been a lot of rain. It's been, you know, raining here since last June. So, you know, we'll get two or three days of sun and four days of rain. It's just been awful, been real hard to try to make videos. And and then we had some personal issues in our family go on. And, and uh, it's just been really, really, really crazy. So I apologize for not making any videos lately. But there's one little thing that I have been working on. I've been pondering as, you know, ever since I started getting serious about collecting these 118 scale cars and, and taking them apart and um, redoing them on the inside and everything and bringing them up to, I guess you'd say, my standards. One of the things in the back of my head was, how do I come up with putting floor mats in the cars? That's something that I haven't seen anybody else do on YouTube. Everybody takes them apart, does the insides, makes them beautiful, repaints them and everything else. But I haven't seen anybody do floor mats. You know, I use the flocking, you know, liberally. And, uh, you know, I put carpet in the cars, the cars that, you know, need carpet in them. So, uh, I'm filming here right beside an open window so if we get any you know wind noise on the camera I, I apologize so I figured it out I thought uh, well, at least I thought I did uh, I'm going to take they make um, little rubber caps to go on the end of uh, piping as far as uh, plumbing pipe like PVC copper pipe I thought about taking a couple of those splitting them open laying them flat and uh, heating them up in the oven and then cutting them to size on the interior of these 118 cars. But that didn't, that didn't seem to work. So I was running it past my wife and she come up with the idea. <coughs> See, told you. Uh, she come up with the idea. Why don't you use foam art? And I'm like, foam art? And she says, yeah, it's the stuff that, you know, our daughter Madison used to use. When she was a little girl, she'd cut little, draw little shapes on it and uh, cut out shapes of it. And it was real, it's real soft foam, but it's nice and thin. I said, That's a, that is a pretty cool idea. I asked her, I said, can you get it in a different color? She says, sure. I said, awesome. Can you get it in black? She says, yeah. I said, that's, that's great. Because most of the cars that I have have black, you know, at least black floors. Maybe I can use that. So we went to our local uh, hobby shop. Went to a um, a uh, oh, what is the place called? Hobby Lobby here in the U.S. And uh, they had a bunch of it. Now I don't know if um, Ben Franklin Crafts or Michaels may carry it. I, I don't know. I didn't bother to look. I just we was at Hobby Lobby, and they had a big bunch of it. Let's see if I can grab a piece of it. <clears throat> and this is it here. It's, I don't know if it, see there? Good size. Big sheet of it. And I was using it. Now look how thin this stuff is. See there? It's a real thin material. As you can see there. I don't know if it's going, camera's going to focus in or on it or not, but it's really thin. And it cuts really well. I got me an X-Acto knife and a pair of scissors. I wanted to show you what brand it was. <clears throat> X-Acto knife and a pair of scissors cut it real well. This is the brand. Boom sheets. It's 12 by 18. It's 89 cents. Great. We'll buy a ton of it. And, um... So I tried to go to work on it. Now, I was going to film the video of me doing this. I still may do that. I still make a video, how-to video for this. But I did my first one today. 
and this is my test subject. This is the, uh, this is the, um, I can't remember what year this thing is. I think it's a 2000, um, Ferrari 360 Spider. Now I've already made a video on this car and you know, this is part of the Hot Wheels Whips collection. I think it's a good, good looking car. Um, great test subject. And uh, I'm hopefully my design here will improve with time. <coughs> so, phone always rings when you're you're doing something. Never rings when you're not. All right, so we'll get past it. So this is my test subject. And uh, what I did is I went on the computer. I went on a Google search to um, Ferrari emblems. And a bunch of emblems popped up, a bunch of sites popped up. So I clicked on the very first site that popped up. And it comes up a whole bunch of different as uh, Ferrari emblems. So I um, clicked on these, the one of the uh, emblems. And you know, underneath the picture, it shows you dimensions, you know, like 1,050 by 1,650 or whatever. And then you'll get some that it shows like less than 1,000. And I guess that's pixels. And uh, if if not, you guys will you know definitely tell me that I'm wrong, and that's fine. I don't mind getting educated. But um, I clicked on the smallest one available, and then when I went to uh, print that out on my computer, again, uh, you guys that are more computer savvy than I am can figure out how to make those images smaller. But what I do, and on my computer, you have uh, different settings on there where you can print it off portrait and you can print it off 8 by wallet sizes and all this, and a, you know, a bunch of different other sizes. And one of the sizes you click on, you can get sp supposedly multiple shots on the screen, multiple images on the paper. So when I did that, um, all this will come in when I do the how to video. I did that. The image popped up and it, it was really little. So I'm gonna take one of these things out. Pastor said, hopefully I can get my fingers in there. I might have to get a get something to dig it out with. <clears throat> I'm going my exacto knife to dig it out there. There we go. So what I did, I got up in this car. I took this car back apart. I don't think there's enough light for y'all to see up in there. But what I did was took this car apart down to the, uh, again, and uh, I cut this floor mat to size. Sit her here on the window sill. Took my magic marker and outlined the edge of it. On camera, it looks really well. So when you stick it back in the car, this foam art, by the way, I took this uh, Ferrari emblem, a little bit of, um, took this Ferrari emblem with a little bit of uh, tacky glue, or you could use school glue too, regular old Elmer, Elmer school glue, stick it on there, cut it to size, and she fits right on in there. Perfect fit. Look at that. And there's the driver's side. So I just want to make a quick video for you guys, what I've been doing, where I've been, and what I've been working on. So we will catch y'all on the next one, y'all everybody. Y'all have a good one. This is Tracy here again, TNM Diecast Reviews. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.